Hi, my name is Bungle, and if making timers and binary logic gates out of portal lasers is wrong, I don't want to be right, my friends. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you should not be surprised that my latest video is yet another Portal 2 video. This is uh, another map that I've made using the new map editor on Portal 2. Um, this particular room has four different um, clock generators in it. Each one is running at a different speed. I'm going to hop in there right now. The first one is really loud, so I had to turn the game volume down so I could be heard over it. This is where the magic happens. Um, we have four different circuits in this room, and each one is running at a different frequency. Start over here with the first one. This is the only one in this room that, as far as I can tell, this is not powered by logic at all. This is actually powered by a glitch in the game engine. It's a very happy glitch, and I hope Valve does not fix it because it's useful. Um, all you have to do to recreate this is you have a, a laser transmitter and a laser receiver. You point them at each other, and then you hook the laser receiver up to the laser transmitter, and then hook the other leg for the laser, laser receiver up to something else, like a light bridge, a laser field, a fizzler, or a force field. Any one of those things will work. Once you hook that up and turn it on, it just magically starts switching on and off really fast like this. But it's a consistent speed, so you can use this as a clock generator. You can use this as an on-off switch. Um, to show a slightly practical use of it, I hooked it up to this makeshift tumbler. I just had these little uh, moving wall platforms. I hooked them up to my this relay right there, and uh, I'm using that to tumble these four weighted cubes. So there you go. Practical purpose for the fast relay. The next circuit right here, this is the second fastest one. This is really easy to set up, although it's kind of expensive. It uses four laser beams and two moving platforms. And on my computer, at least, the laser beams kind of lag me out a little bit. They slow my frame rate down. Um, I'm not really going to explain this one. I think you're much better off just looking at it. It's pretty obvious how it works. As long as you have the laser transmitters and receivers centered in their respective blocks, then this, the timing is going to work out perfectly, where leg one shuts off right as leg two turns on. This gives you the per perfect switching effect. It's perfectly consistent, and it will last forever. Circuit number three, I have the switching mechanism built in behind the laser beams right here because I was trying to make it pretty. Um, this is just a simple force field mechanism. You have two box droppers, two force fields, and then two pressure switches. The force field pushes the box into the pressure switches. You have the first one start, uh, sorry, you have the first one set to auto drop the first box, have the second one set to not auto drop the first box, and then hook the left dropper up to the right button, hook the right dropper up to the left button, voila, you have a self-contained circuit. This uh, powers itself, and, you know, leg one... I'm sorry, I'm explaining the obvious stuff. This is self-explanatory. You understand how this works. The fourth and final circuit in this room... And if you don't understand, you're probably not watching this video. Am I right? Okay. Fourth and final circuit is the exact same type of circuit as the third one. I just have longer force fields and that just slows the circuit down, that's all. Same thing though, um, you can tell actually the stairs are the indicator in this one. It goes one and three and then two and four. And they are consistent, everything times up. I also have the exit door timed in on this on this circuit. Right? Yes, I can use portals to get up to the top if I want. But I'm thinking with circuits, not portals, and you should too. This concludes my video. Uh, I hope you've learned something. If not, I hope you subscribe to my channel because I don't know. I don't get money or anything. It makes me feel good about myself while I stand here and wait for my own exit door to open. Alrighty, guys. Have a good day or night, whatever that may be. I love you.